we must remember when reading the discourse between Job and his friends that God said Job spake that which was right of him, and his friends did not. We must also remember Satan was Job's accuser. Job said to his friends, For the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come unto me. Saints, Job, like you and I, loved his children dearly. We saw that in how he prayed for them daily and sacrificed for them. He, like any loving parent, naturally feared ever losing his children. Yet I have heard these words of Job made a doctrine, some saying incorrectly that Job's trials came because he feared they would come. This is a prime example of men taking the word of God out of its full context. Eliab has told Job of a spirit who had visited him in the night. Then a spirit passed before my face, the hairs of my flesh stood up. It stood still, but I could not discern the form thereof. An image was before mine eyes. There was silence, and I heard a voice saying, Shall mortal man be more just than God? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? He put no trust in his servants. Satan had visited Eliapaz via a familiar spirit. He presumed it to be the voice of the Lord. Many of today's false prophets claim to hear a word from God or some angel when it is the voice of a familiar spirit. Eliapaz had boldly, without concern for his brother's despair, passed on this word to Job as if it were from the Lord, thus heaping condemnation upon our brother Job. Job answered Eliapaz, To him that is afflicted, pity should be showed from his friend. But my friend, you forsake the fear of the Almighty. Again Job said, Yea, ye overwhelm the fatherless, and ye dig a pit for your friend. It wasn't enough for one friend to condemn his brother. Now Bilidad the Shuhite steps up to heap yet more condemnation upon our brother Job. Then said Bilidad the Shuhite, If thy children have sinned against him, and he have cast him away for their transgression, if thou wouldst seek unto God betimes, and make thy supplication to the Almighty, if thou wert pure and upright, surely now he would awake for thee, and make the habitation of thy righteousness prosperous. God already told Satan that Job was a perfect and an upright man. So here is yet another friend being used by the accuser of the brethren to further heap condemnation on our brother Job. Satan's favorite pastime is to heap condemnation on the saints of God. He does it via our families and friends. I've even witnessed pastors seeming to relish heaping condemnation upon their congregations. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Saints, don't be discouraged when the accuser comes at you through those you love the most. God knows your heart. God is trying you as he tried our brother Job that you may come forth as gold.